Now let's see how we can find the p-value when we're doing hypothesis testing after we find our, our uh, test statistic. And I'm going to show you how to use this using one of the distribution functions, the normal CDF function, in order to find that. So in order to find your, your p-value, what we're going to do is we're going to go to second, and then we're going to go uh, to the VARES button. Above the VARES button, it says DISTR, which stands for distribution. And when this comes up, it gives you an option of a whole bunch of different distributions for uh, probability functions. So we're going to use what's called the normal CDF. CDF stands for cumulative density function. So we're going to choose option two and choose enter. And what this is asking for is it's asking for the boundaries um, of, of the tail that you're testing given our our test statistic that we calculated. Now I'm going to be doing a left tail test so my lower bound is going to be negative infinity since we don't have the infinity option I'm going to choose negative one million. And then after I choose the lower bound I'm going to choose the upper bound and in, in my case for my test statistic I came up with a value of negative 1.155 And then it asks us for our mean and our standard deviation of that distribution. And since I already converted this to um, standard units or the value of Z right here for our upper bound, my mean is going to be zero and my standard deviation is going to be one. So all I have to do is go down and hit paste and then hit enter and it'll show the normal CDF function. And those of you with older calculators, you would just type it in in this format separated by the comma and then uh, go ahead and hit enter. And once this comes up, this is giving us our respective probability uh, giving, given those boundaries with that mean and that standard deviation. So our p-value would be 0 0.1240.